Exhibit 76 shows that James Crumbly was at the home at that date and time. May I approach again, Hunter? Thank you. Exhibit 76 is, again, another GPS location showing that James Crumbly was at the home on August 20th of 2021 at 1230 a.m. Correct. And again, in the video that, that was shown, you can hear the clicking sound. I'm sorry, this was the loading of the magazine. That's correct. The yes. other one was something else. And, and just, yes, recording it. Um, exhibit 72 and 73 is is uh, Mr. Crumbly's son loading the magazine into the firearm. Correct. And you hear that. Yes. And you see it on the video. Correct. You can hear kind of like a, a whirring, maybe like a fan or something in the background, if you recall. I don't recall that, but okay. You don't recall hearing voices? Anybody talking at the time? Correct. No. No other sounds other than the loading of the magazine. And the slide going forward. And again, you don't know whether James Crumbly was standing there or not? Correct, I do not. You don't know if James Crumbly was in another room? It, the GPS says he was in the the, the, the residence, house. correct? Yes. You don't know if he was maybe standing outside? You don't know, is my point. I don't, the video is just limits to the gun, correct, but the GPS puts him at the house at 1230 at night. If you were to say, you know, well, this is what I think, and you said that similar to some questions a little bit earlier, while the sound of, of the slide moving forward is, is loud and you would hear it in a house that size, that's an assumption that you're making, correct? I've loaded a gun several, several, several times, and it does make a lot of noise. Like, you don't know you whether or not anyone happening. is... I'm sorry, I interrupted you. No, it's okay. You would know what's happening. In a, I mean, if, if you have a house that's large on a second floor, then you probably wouldn't. But in a smaller house, it does... You have metal banging together. It makes a loud sound. You don't know, based on those exhibits that have been admitted, whether or not James Crumbly heard that sound. Whether he heard it, no. You don't know whether or not he was aware of it. No. You don't know if he was aware of it and standing right there. Correct. You don't know? I know the GPS puts him at the house. Exhibit 79 was a chain of text messages. May I approach, Your Honor? Sure. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. It's a chain of text messages between James Crumbly and his son's friend's father. Do you recall reviewing that yesterday? Correct, yes. James Crumbly's Sons, friends, father. Yes, okay. I want to, yep. Yes. Um, you reviewed the text during your uh, investigation in this case? Correct. You look at them yesterday? That's correct. This is the friend that Mr. Crumbly's son texted with so much, the 20,000 texts. That is correct. Mr. Crumbly was checking in on his son's friend. If you, if yes, you can correct, look. yep. Okay. That's correct. He was concerned because it had been brought to his attention by his son that he hadn't heard from his friend, if you recall. Yes, correct. If you recall from the text messages, the son's friend's father asked Mr. Crumbly not to say anything about the whereabouts of his son. Until he w went to the hospital? Correct. Correct, yes. And he said, wait and let's see how my son wants to handle it. Correct. Okay. In the conversation at that point between Mr. Crumbly and his son's friend's father, there was no expression, if you recall from reviewing the exhibit, there was no expression of mutual concern about Mr. Crumbly's son or sharing any information like, yeah, my son's been having a hard time. Or, there was nothing like that in that exhibit. And you can look through the pages that you have. No, there was not. Okay. On November 30th of 2021, in that same text thread, the friend's father texted Mr. Crumbly and said that he was praying that his son made it home okay. On what, in here? Yes, November 30th of 2021. Correct, yes. And that was after the shooting at the high school? That's correct. So this friend, the father of this friend that Mr. Crumbly's son had texted with so much, 20,000 texts that they had talked about, his own son had mental health issues, we see from the text. Even he did not suspect that Mr. Crumbly's son could have been the person responsible. So this is speculation. As counsel pointed out, this yes, witness can testify. Thank system. you, sir. May I approach? Yes, Oh, I don't answer that. Thank you. You talked a little bit yesterday about cache data. You said that cache data is saved after a person views something on their device? Correct. You went through exhibits 82 through 86, which I can pull if you'd like, but I, I'll just remind you, they were photos of a screenshot that Mr. Crumbly's son had taken um, of uh, a 
screenshot of a handgun that was for sale. Correct. A 9mm handgun. That's and then the exhibits were also the, the data behind that showing that the images were stored in both Mr. Crumbly's son's cash data and Mr. Crumbly's cash data. That's correct. Did you want to review them again? I would, please. Okay. Yes. May I approach, Your Honor? Sure. This is 82 through 86. Do you want to look at them? Just, yeah, just, just in case you need them? Yes. Sure. Yes, thank you. So, the screenshot was sent by Mr. Crumbly's son to Mr. Crumbly. It was sent to it by... Mr. Crumbly's son to Mr. Crumbly. Correct. yes. The screenshot itself was taken by Mr. Crumbly's son. Correct. Both of them, it appears from these exhibits, deleted the screenshot from their messages. Correct. People delete messages, right? I, yes, I do, yes. You do? Sure. And for any number of reasons. Correct. Not necessarily because you're trying to hide anything. Correct. In fact, there's, there's also a way that you can delete the message and then also clear that cache so that whatever you're deleting is permanently erased from your phone, right? It's possible, yes. And if that happens, then you wouldn't have found anything in the cache data, correct? Probably not, correct. So it, it's fair to say that Deleting a screenshot or, or a message is not necessarily, there's nothing wrong with it, right? There's, again, speculation, <gasps> bless you, speculation, is, that's, that kind of question is for the jury to answer. Well, Your Honor, what I'm asking is if just deleting a message is wrong. Well, do you mean morally, legally, professionally? What do you mean? All of them? He's, he's here to testify as to what he was able to extract from, from the devices. Yeah, you'd be asking his opinion. So, wouldn't you be asking his opinion? I mean, he said he himself deletes things, and, and he doesn't do it because he's doing anything wrong, trying to hide anything. Right. I mean, counsel's, or um, the witness was responding to counsel's question in a conversational tone. He's not, he, he can't provide opinions on why somebody might delete things or why not. He yeah, can testify yeah. who's deleted. Thank you, Judge. In this instance, you did not see that anyone attempted to clear the cash data or anything like that from what you have in front of you. The fact that it's there tells me that it didn't happen. Okay, thank you. Mayor hey, Pochard? Thank you. We know that on June 26th of 2021, James Crumbly went to a firearm store where he bought a six hour nine millimeter handgun. And you talked a little bit about that yesterday, correct? Correct. November. What did I say? June. June. I'm sorry, yeah. November 26th yeah, of 2021. Um, there's been no dispute that James Crumbly bought a handgun on November 26th of 2021, to your knowledge. Correct. Exhibit 95 is an Instagram post made by Mr. Crumbly's son about the Sig Sauer handgun that was purchased by Mr. Crumbly earlier that day. Correct. Would you like to review Exhibit 95 again? Please. May I approach your honor? Sure. Thank you. Thank you. In that post, Mr. Crumbly's son claims that the Sig Sauer is his handgun. In, in the post made by Mr. Crumbly's son in Exhibit correct, 95. Correct, yes. I didn't hear something, sorry. He, that's okay. He, fo he posted photos? Correct. And again, from what you have in that exhibit, you don't know anything about what's going on outside of the frame of that photo other than what's in that photo. Is that correct? That's correct. And you know that based on Exhibit 88, which is a GPS location, that Mr. Crumbly was at or near his house around the time that his son took and posted those photos. And if you'd like to see Exhibit 88, I can give it to you. Please, uh, I always, yes, thank you very May much. May I approach your honor? Sure. So, reviewing Exhibit 88, you would agree that that exhibit shows that Mr. Crumbly was at or near his home at the time that, and if you need 95 back, I can give it to you, at the time that the post was made. That's correct. May I approach you? 